I'm going to demonstrate knitting under the loose stitches in the two color honeycomb section of the Aquina cowl. You will have worked your twisted rib in color one or your variegated if you're using one. And then your color two will become the, the tonal background color here. In this section, you'll be working two rounds with the variegated where you're alternating between three slip stitches with the yarn in front and three purl stitches. You'll then work two rounds in your tonal background color two to create height, which is how you'll be lifting these loose stitches to create a look that's like honeycombs or waves. So depending on which section you're on, you'll either be knitting one, knitting under the loose stitches and knitting four, or knitting four under the loose stitches and one. Either way, once you get going, there'll be five stitches between knitting under the loose stitches. So here, I've just knit under the loose stitch. I'm going to knit five. Oops, I'm gonna see around my phone. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to move the stitches down so that nothing bunches, it keeps a nice tension. And it's time to knit under these loose stitches. If you're comfortable, you can just use your needles. Go under the two stitches, knit the next stitch as you normally would. And then once it's on your right hand needle, you're gonna bring it back under the stitches. Now, if that's giving you trouble at all, there's no reason you can't use your fingers to manipulate a little bit. So you've just knit under a loose stitch. You're going to knit five, one, two, three, four, five. It's time to knit under the loose stitches again. Use your fingers. Grab those stitches, pull them up, put your needle right underneath. Now you're just gonna knit that next stitch like you normally would. Once it's here, you're gonna want it to go back under those loose stitches and that is how it's going to pull them up. So there's five between, one, two, three, four, five. It's time to go under the loose stitches again Again, fingers or no fingers, there's no difference in the end. You're going under the two loose stitches, you're knitting your next stitch, bringing it back through, and there you can see. No difference whether I used my fingers or I didn't. The goal is just to get that stitch knit, pull these loose stitches up two rounds, and create the wave shape. One, two, three, four, five, and under the loose stitches. And I'm on one of the rounds where I just end with a single knit stitch. And here I am back at one of my cute Martha's Vineyard stitch markers, which makes me smile. So that's it, that's all there is to that section.